leave it to Beaver. And Eric Cantor as the Beaver. There's so much at stake. Even Speaker Boehner and Minority Leader McConnell seem to understand the seriousness of this situation. They're willing to negotiate in good faith, which I appreciate. And the country appreciates. You talking to me? Meanwhile, House Majority Leader Eric Cantor has shown that he shouldn't even be at the table. Uh, no dessert, Beaver? No. No what? No, I won't have any. <laughs> and Republicans agree he shouldn't be at the table. I'm a Republican. I'm actually a Tea Party Republican, and I agree he shouldn't be at the table. One Republican told Political last night. He shouldn't be at the table. Quote, he lost a lot of credibility when he walked away from the table. It was childish. End of quote. Can I miss you? Yeah, I guess so. What that's all about, Mr. President, we had negotiations going here on room S219. A short jog from here. And he just walked out on the meetings. Bumpy nuts. It was childish. He shouldn't be at the table. Another Republican said Kenner is putting himself first. He said this, quote, he's all about Eric. The risks we face are simply too great. We don't need to take my word for it. More than 300 respected business leaders wrote to Congress. This is Sparta! Night before last, to make it clear how serious this crisis really is. This is madness! We're listening. It's time for the irresponsible voices in the Republican Party. I'm actually a Tea Party Republican. Party ...that continue to deny the truth of this crisis throughout listening as well. Yes, Miss Canfield. Theodore, I have a note here to your mother and father. <laughs> it's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. 